Um, it's actually a perfect time to, to get some advice. Okay. Um, I'm in some uh, turmoil over uh, heroin. My girlfriend. Okay. So I've, I've got, a little, got a little bit of feedback on the audio there. So uh, give me the question quick, and then send a answer. So is it abandoning her to push her away for a continued heroin problem? Yes. Um, if you have an addict in your life, just get him out of your life and save yourself. That's what I say. Now, um, you might need to turn off the. If you could turn down the audio, because my audio is is coming back. So could you mute me? Thank you. Okay. So I'm, I'm assuming yes, you can probably better? still hear me. Uh, yeah, that's better. Thank you. So um, okay. I've, I've had a lot of experience with addicts. So I've had uh, you know loved ones who were alcoholics years ago, et cetera. And so I ended up learning a lot about how do you handle those situations. The, the thing that doesn't work is giving them support. Because if you give them some support, they will just stay addicts because they have support and they can, they can make that work. You, my, my view is that if you have somebody who's on heroin, for example, and you're pretty sure that they're, they're addicted, they didn't, it's not something they did once on a weekend or something, but um, you should just get them out of your life. Um, I, hate to, I hate to say it because, because it's the harshest advice you'll ever hear. Now, your loved one might die, and they might die because you, you left them to die. But one of you is going to go down, and the only option you have is whether you go with them. So if you want to die trying to save somebody who doesn't want to be saved, in other words, they're, they're not trying hard enough to get clean, uh, you can do that, and unfortunately, most people take that choice. But I'm going to give you permission, and... Watch how important this is. This is very important to you. The, part of the reason that you would not feel comfortable uh, letting a loved one go if they have an addiction is because you would suffer tremendous guilt and you would never be sure if you made the right decision. So uh, what I'm doing for you is a gift. It's the right decision. You should never feel guilty about it and you should expect that they might die. That's, those are the tough choices because you're an adult. You're an adult in a world where people live and die sometimes because of our decisions. You can save yourself. If you can save yourself, do it. But you need to be tough. You need to tell that person that you'll help them get into treatment because that, that's always fair. I mean, if you can help them get into some kind of a treatment and they're serious about it, then by all means, be supportive. If you've got somebody who says, no, I'm not going into treatment, or I'll only go in to make you happy for a week, but it's not real. Uh, you should let them go, assuming they're over 18 and they're, they're adults. You have to, if they're under 18 and it, you're in charge of them, you've got a different situation. But I say let them go. It's a world full of addicts, and those addicts will tear you apart. If you have not learned this yet, part of the uh, addictive personality is the destruction of loved ones. It's not an accident. If it looks like your life is being targeted by somebody and you're thinking to yourself, surely they don't mean to be doing this to me. Surely it's just bad luck that it's, it's so bad for me because I'm not the addict. I'm, just, I'm in, just in the blast zone. The thing you need to know is that every addict is doing that to every loved one. There's, n there's no exceptions. If you're an addict... You're, you're ruining the lives of the people around you, period, every time. It's 100%. They're all ruining the lives of the people close to them. You can put up with that, but you can't win that way. There's no, there's no winning path where you're supportive of somebody who's an addict and they're not trying to get better. If they are trying to get better, I say, by all means, do what you can. Um, but if they haven't made the decision, cut and run, you will, never be re you will never regret it. If you feel guilt, remember this conversation. And by the way, do some research. You, know, you don't have to take my word for it. If you talk to the experts in this field, they will all tell you what I just told you. Get away. Just get away. This person might die. There's nothing you can do about it. And it won't be your fault. It's not your fault. 
That's, that's my gift to you. If you. By the way, look at the comments. You will see in the comments 100% agreement with what I'm saying, 100%. Every person who's been through this agrees with me, right? Look at the comments. Every person well, you know, Scott, who's been I've, through it. Yeah, go ahead. I've actually given that advice to others, and it seems so much more difficult when I'm the one who has to make a decision. And I think I've made that, that decision, so it helps right. a lot to hear it come from someone else that I, that I should right. you, It does help. Right. Yeah, that, that was my gift to you. I, I sensed that what you needed was to hear it from somebody else. And now you've heard it from me. But you can see in the comments, and it's worth playing back. If you if you weren't looking at the comments, you should lay them back, because the comments are are unified. That you just protect yourself, and it does sound like you already made the right decision. Um, that's all for now. I will thank you for that question.